ಸರ್ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಸರ್ ಹೇಳೋ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಬಿಲೈಸ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಶೂಟ್ ಸೊ ಥ್ರೂ ದಟ್ ಪ್ರೆಷರ್ ದ ಪ್ರೆಷರ್ ಐ ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಯೋರ್ ಟಾರ್ಗೆಟ್ ಗೋಸ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಬೆಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಲ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಬೆಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಲ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ಸೈಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಹೈ ಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಕನ್ನಡಗಳಿಗೆ ಇನ್ನಿಕ್ಕೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಏನ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೋರ್ ಪಣ ಬರೋ ಅಪ್ಡೇನ್ ಪಾತೀಗನಾ ಎಪ್ಪಡಿ ಗನ್ ಶೂಟಿಂಗ್ ಪಣ್ರದು ಲೈಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲಾಮ ಎಪ್ಪಡಿ ಗನ್ ವಾಂಗಲಾ ಅದು ಮಟ್ಟ ಇಲ್ಲಾಮ ಗನ್ ಶೂಟಿಂಗ್ ಪಣ ಏನ ಏನ ಬೆನಿಫಿಟ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ಕು ಅದ ಪತಿ ದಾ ಇನ್ನಿಕ್ಕೆ ವಿಡಿಯೋಲ ಪಾಕ ಪರೋ ಇದ ವಿಡಿಯೋವ ಸ್ಕಿಪ್ ಪಣಾಮ ಪಾರಂಗ ಲೈಕ್ ಪಣಂಗ ಶೇರ್ ಪಣಂಗ ಮರಕಾಮ ಬೆಲ್ ಐಕಾನ ಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಪಣಂಗ ನಾನು ಉಂಗಲ್ ದೀಪಕ್ ಸ್ಟೇ ಟ್ಯೂನ್
okay, which are powered by compressed air or springers. Uh, we have a couple of varieties which will come to a little later on. Okay. So, uh, air guns is what we use of 0.177 caliber. Okay. Okay. Uh, there are different sizes in air guns as well, but in shooting sports at a competitive level, we only use 0.177 caliber. Okay. So, first is your 10 meters. Now, within 10 meters, there are three different subcategories. There are three different kinds of weapons. There are two kinds of rifle and one kind of pistol. Okay. I'll come to that a little later on, but I'll quickly brush, uh, run through uh, the, the other categories which are there in shooting sports. Okay. So, first comes your 10 meters, then comes your 25 meters and 50 meters. Excellent. 25 meters, you can imagine about two and a half times as length. 50 meters is long range, okay. five times as length. Able to see there. So, this is a 10 meter range. 25 meters will be two and a half times as length. 50 meters is five times as length. Okay. Then, of course, we can't do that in indoors. It's always done outdoors. And there, you don't use air guns, but we use ammunition-based guns. 0.22 caliber ammunition-based uh, rifles and pistols is what we use. So, 25 meters and 50 meters. Again, a lot of different subcategories between them as well. And then your last category is your trap shooting. Trap shooting is where you've seen uh, in uh, TV's movies, a certain disc goes flying and then they shoot it with, uh, a, yes, yes, yeah, okay. get, uh, with a shotgun. Yes. So that is called as trap shooting. Oh, okay. okay. So those is done outdoors and there is a, all the rest of the categories, all uh, stationary targets. Okay. Trap shooting is a moving target. So how dangerous is the, all the guns over here? Like? Okay. Uh, your ammunition based guns are of course dangerous. Your 25 meters, 50 trap, you get shot with them. Uh, Pretty much, <laughs> you're dead. <laughs> but so then, uh, original or like the air can So, your air guns also are pretty dangerous. So that is why when uh, someone new comes, we just don't give the gun until start shooting. We give basic safety rules, regulations. We ensure everything is taken care of, and only then are the weapons given. And also, if someone's under the uh, influence of alcohol, drugs, or anything, they're just not permitted inside. Okay. You have to be in sane mind and clear on what you're doing. Only then you're allowed here to do some shooting. Basic instruction, so, so sir, I'm ready. So, okay. can we go and shoot it? I'm so excited. Sure, sure, sure. But before that, there are a few basic safety rules and regulations okay. which you have to mandatory follow. I'll explain them. Only once you clearly understand them, then we'll do some shooting. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Because even though these are air guns, they are pretty dangerous. You get shot with them, it may not kill you, but it'll certainly cause a lot of damage. Okay. Okay. So, first of all, the safety measurement is not going to be able to So, what is the energy clock? Okay. So, rule number one your barrel or the pointy side of the gun, your muzzle, should always be pointed towards the target or in a safe direction. Okay. Under no circumstances will you point the gun at anyone. Even if it's loaded, unloaded, no pointing the gun at anyone. Okay. So, let me explain that very clearly. Rule number two, you'll make it a habit to keep your hands on the trigger only when you're about to shoot. Okay, all of the time, hands off the trigger. Okay. Because these are all feather touch triggers, you touch and they can fire. Okay. 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 So only when you're about to shoot does your finger come here. All of the time, hands off the triggers. Okay. Okay. Rule number three, once you finish shooting, leave the gun on the table or leave it on the rack. No walking around with it. The Sawyer is fun. So those are the basic safety rules. Okay. Now we'll come towards the weapons that we use in 10 meters. Excellent. Most, uh, we have two kinds of rifle and one kind of pistol. Now the most basic, simple form of air guns are these. Okay. Uh, these are called as brake barrel open sight rifles. Okay. Why brake barrel? Because to power this gun, every single time you have to bend and break this barrel. Okay. So, when you bend and break this barrel, what happens is, inside this, there is a very high tension spring or a piston. That spring gets compressed. Okay. And then you load, close and when you pull the trigger, what happens is the spring releases and the stored kinetic energy within the spring comes and hits the pellet which is loaded here. This is what powers the gun. Okay. Okay. These are also called as open sight rifles. Why open sight? Because the sights which help you aim are very simple sights. Okay. There is just a notch and a cut to help you aim. It's not like your uh, when you play video games, you'll get one circle and one plus mark to aim and all of that. Very basic sides. Okay. Uh, for practical real life purposes, you have to learn how to shoot these guns. If you want to go outside hunting and all of that, all you, you have to shoot these. Guns for hunting? No, not really. They're not meant for hunting. <laughs> <laughs> so no, no. But ammunition-based guns, most of them in India have open sights. Okay. 
ஸோ நான் என்ன கேட்டுட்டு இருந்தேன்னா இந்த கன் எடுத்துட்டு போய் நம்ம காட்டிலலாம் போக முடியுமா அப்படின்னு கேட்டேன் இல்லை அதெல்லாம் பண்ண முடியாதுன்னு சொல்லிட்டாரு ஸோ அது நான் ரிஸ்க் எடுக்க விருப்பம் இல்லை எனக்கு ஓகே சார் ஓகே ஸோ this is one category very simple it's a little cumbersome every single time you have to bend break your barrel load shoot okay okay now this is one category okay super okay now one more thing that we generally explain to beginners is you know these guns are called as rifles right okay. do you know why they called as a rifle no no okay okay i'll explain that ungalku yaradha rifle oda meaning enna theriyuma therinja comment section la podunga edhukku rifle nu solranga adha pathi explain panna poraaru yeah okay now just have a look inside the barrel okay with one what do you see inside is it like a plain pipe or do you find something inside uh, no there is no something it's a plain do you just find some circular grooves yes, circle yeah some circular like grooves drilling yeah. the barrel yeah like if you have seen james bond movies entry scene yes yes huh? yes you've yes. noticed that right now the process of drilling those grooves into the barrel is called as rifling oh okay so okay. only guns which have those grooves drilled into the barrel can be called as a rifle okay okay now can you guess why they drill those grooves into the barrel to to aim or to shoot okay if you have seen again uh, rajnikanth movies yes, yes when you see bullet when it comes in slow motion how does it come does it come straight or does it spin like this and come it will spin and it come. spins and comes right yeah. so so only guns which have those grooves drilled can be called as a rifle okay. now your shotguns which shoot those big red color bullets yes. in movies and all you see yeah like they have on belt when belt with all those bullets Let's those are called as 12 gauge shotgun shells 12 gauge 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 12 gauge shotgun, shotgun shells okay ajjo nahi lingo are wo sambo previous one gun was called as break barrel open sight rifles okay. now another category of gun a little more advanced these are called as pcp peep sight rifles now the full form of pcp is pre charged pneumatic or pre charged air okay. okay now compared to the other gun you see an additional cylinder here which is not there in that gun now this is an air cylinder okay so uh, highly pressurized air uh, it's not any special gas just the normal air that we breathe is compressed about 200 300 times the normal atmospheric pressure and filled into air tanks scuba diving tanks as well have been okay okay from those air tanks we fill transfer that pressurized air into the cylinder so these guns you don't have to bend break your barrel every single time okay all that you have to do is pull this lever a little bit of air from the cylinder is transferred into chamber here okay you load close shoot so through that pressure the pressurized air is what pushes the projectile outside so the pellet outside pressure ah. pressure meter ha ah. so there is a pressure gauge over here okay so, so it should always be in green so for the as you keep shooting the pressure will keep dropping and once it reaches yellow you refill this okay and then start shooting again so once the different models have different capacities so these guns uh, about 150 to 200 rounds you can fill once you fill one cylinder of air okay so these are also called as peep sight rifles that's an open sight this is a peep sight why peep sight because to aim in this the sights are a little different there's a small hole here okay okay yeah you need to close one eye and peep through this hole okay, okay so when you peep through this hole you don't directly look at the target okay. you need to find the front sight in front sight you will find one small circle yes now this circle exactly fits the black dot on the target sheet okay so it's a lot more easier to shoot with this will not give you any recoil because there are no moving parts inside so these guns there's a spring when the spring releases it will give you a slight kick back and a recoil these guns are extremely stable there's no recoil there's absolutely nothing in this so they're very very precise ஸோ ஒரு கன் நம்ம எடுத்து ஷூட் பண்ணும்போது என்ன ஆகுனா நம்ம ஒரு செகண்ட் ஜேர்க் ஆகும்ல அது வந்து இந்த கன்ல ஆகாது ஸோ ரொம்ப ப்ரிசைஸாக யூஸ் பண்ணலாம் ரொம்ப ஸ்டேபிளாக இருக்கும் ஷூட் பண்ணும்போது கேட்கறதுக்கே ரொம்ப எக்ஸைட்டடாக இருக்கலாம் எவ்வளோ விஷயம் இருக்கு பாருங்களா ஒரு கண்குள்ள நம்ம எத்தனையோ மூவிஸ் எல்லாம் பார்க்குறோம் ஆனால் அதை பற்றி என்ன கன் யூஸ் பண்ணுறாங்க சும்மா நம்ம தெரிஞ்சலாம் ஒரு ஏகே ஃபார்ட்டி சார் அந்த எல்லாம் பேசுவோம் பட் ஆனால் எவ்வளோ வெரைட்டிஸ் ஆஃப் நம்மளும் யூஸ் பண்ணலாம் அதை பற்றி எவ்வளோ அழகாக எக்ஸ்பிளைன் பண்ணிட்டு இருக்காரு வாங்க என்ன என்ன இன்டர்நேஷ்னல் நேஷனல் கன்ஸ்லாம் இருக்கா வாங்க போய் பார்க்கலாம் ஓகே so this is one category so up to only state level our open sight guns use these days mm-hmm. rest up to olympics we all use these pressurized pcp rifles is what we use so we run one the olympics use panranga so uh, this is a basic gun basic gun uh, we have more advanced ones okay. to start off with we use these guns and gradually move on to more advanced uh, guns which have a lot of uh, settings which is customized according to each body's person okay. person's body type excellent 
ஸோ இங்கே பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஐ கேன் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் ஓகே சூப்பராக இருக்கு எல்லாம் எக்ஸ்பிளைன் பண்ணிக்கோங்க இதோட பார்ட்ஸ் பற்றி கொஞ்சம் எக்ஸ்பிளைன் பண்ண முடியுமா ஷோர் சார் இட்ஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன் பிகாஸ் யூ நீட் டு நோ வாட் பார்ட் கோஸ் வே வென் யூ ஸ்டாண்ட் அண்ட் ஷூட் ஸோ இல் எக்ஸாக்ட்லி எக்ஸ்பிளைன் வாட் த டிஃப்ரெண்ட் பார்ட்ஸ் ஆர் ஸோ த பாட்டம் மோஸ்ட் பார்ட் ஆஃப் த கன் இஸ் கால்ட் எஸ் அ பட் பிளேட் ஓகே ஓகே திஸ் the butt plate always gold in your shoulder plate yeah. okay this is called as a cheek piece or a cheek plate okay cheek why plate. cheek plate why because when you're shooting if you don't have support for your head there's no there's no stability for your head your head will keep shaking around so to get support for your head you rest your cheek on this that's why it's called as a cheek piece or a cheek plate not your chin then you won't be able to see it you rest your cheek on this comfortably so this is called as a cheek piece or a cheek plate okay this is a grip where you grip the gun trigger guard trigger this entire thing is called as a stock stock okay this is your air cylinder with the pressure gauge this is your barrel this is your front sight this is your rear sight okay. and this is your loading bolt and this is your safety lock okay. now this gun's safety lock is this lever here so it's pushed towards your right your gun will not fire safe so, uh, safety so always once you finish shooting put the gun in safety and what is the weight uh, different guns come out different weights uh, that is about 2 kilos 2 2.2 Okay. This is about 3.8 kilos. 3.8 kilos. Oh. Okay. okay. And your more higher end guns there, wooden stocks, they're about 5 plus. 5, okay. Oh. Higher end guns are 5 kg. Okay. So, now we're going to talk about the gun. We're going to talk about the gun. We're going to talk about the gun. But in competition, we're going to talk about the gun. 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 So, we're going to talk about the gun. We're going to talk about the gun. all right so these are little more advanced competition category guns the principle of how it works is the same these all pcp rifles as well the cylinders filled with compressed air only thing is these guns have a lot more adjustments that you can make your butt plate your cheek piece your grips your everything that can be customized according to your body type because not everyone is the same someone might be really tall someone might be really short so kind the of, kind of accuracy that you need to get the gun has to be customized and adjusted according to your body type okay we can customize, customize. according to one person uh-huh. okay wait only then will you get the kind of accuracy that is expected in shooting these days okay. so your butt plate cheek piece grip everything can be adjusted and moved according to your body type so and in the gun vand nammoda height weight porthu nammuk adjustment panni idu vand customize panna mudiyum nu solranga evlo interesting ah irukku paarengala enak theriyum indha mari vishayam la pudusa naamu therinjikkuren so vaanga onna enna na therinjikkalam paakalam ஒன்னுக்ஸ்ட் <laughs> we don't call them as a bullet because this entire thing exits from the barrel to call it a bullet there has to be a shell gun powder inside and then a front projectile which goes out and the shell is left behind so these are called as pellets okay. so these are 0.177 caliber now in air guns yeah. only guns which shoot 0.177 caliber can be kept without a license now anything which shoots larger the next size is 0.22 also requires license these days okay so anybody can buy a gun which shoots 0.177 caliber without a license okay so nalla therinjikinga neenga gun vaanglaama ana vishayam enna nu paathina the pellets the bullet and the pellets nu solvaanga 1 point 0.177 0.177 irundhuchuna neenga vandu license illama or gun vaanga mudiyum adha dhaan nu ayaga explain pannaare so all of these guns you see here can be bought without a license they are all sports category wow. so in the guns ellame vandu without license yaar vaana and then use pannalam it is a great information so ipo namm vandu na nariya padathile sports la la paathiruken round ah circle panni and aim panni one number two la potu adha vandu aim panni shoot panuvaangala adha edhuk sir what is that so that is what we shoot at these are standard target shoots okay this is what we aiming for the only aim of this sport is to shoot exactly in the center or bullseye okay so who has hits closest to this every single round the most number of times is declared the winner so scoring is there so you can see different numbers here okay so if it hits exactly in the center you will get 10.9 each of these rings have 10 decimal points okay so this is eights these are nines and these two inner circles are tens okay so if it hits exactly in the center you will get 10.9 a little away 10.8 10.7 10.6 10.5 4 3 2 1 
because why competition now everyone will be hitting almost in the center itself this inside ka variations is of decimal points is what we take okay okay, okay. bullseye is 10 bullseye is 10.9 okay. 10.9 because everyone will be hitting inside that only these days okay, okay. so 9 9.1234567891010 10 10.1234567891 10, these are your manual target machines switch them on like this take one target sheet and fix it here and then press your target goes there target is very small you need to stabilize so to get support for this hand which doesn't have any support as of now what we do is we push your hips out a little in front okay and get this hand close up so this becomes like a stand so basically you're resting the gun on a stand what happens you hold like this and you keep moving around okay to get more stability get it closer and use the hand as a tripod right okay and if you're right handed you always close your left eye and aim with your right eye okay so close your left eye and rest your cheek on this cheek plate comfortably so that this eye and this people so is at the same level open panita abbe left kanna vandu moodite abbe aim panni shoot panna poraaru so so that you rest your cheek so that this eye and people is at the same level and then you peep through this when you peep through this hole you don't directly look at the target you need to find the front side in front side you see one round circle yeah now this circle exactly fits the black dot on the target cheek okay okay you so you need to align all three okay one more thing extremely important in shooting is breathing breathing okay so why you do everything right just before pulling the trigger so you breathe see how much the gun moves no if you breathe the gun will move okay so you need to be holding your breath when you pull the trigger so ipo na start panna pora ipo our instructor solla aarambikka poraaru na eppadi nikkano eppadi position ella solli kodukka poraaru and try panna pora paakalam aim pandra endha alukku how podum theriyala let's go so first set your target sheet fixing it like this Yeah. Okay. 
Five points at the grand on it. Okay, how many points is four point five? Five, five, five points. So, super. First start, sorry, second at the five points. Now, you got the basic concept, right? You need to look through this. Yeah, find the front side. Front side should be exactly like that. Don't look at the target directly. So when we train, generally first few sessions, so that you get the concept right on how to aim. Okay, now hold this. Okay, move it to the front. Rest your cheek on this. This hand. Okay, now close your left eye. Okay, look through this. Can you see my finger? Yeah. Now? Yes. Now? Yes. Now? Yes. Okay, now can you see one round circle? Now get that circle to exactly align with the black part of the target sheet. Can you find the target sheet? Yeah. Control your breathing. Control your breathing. You need to find exactly align. Good. Right, let's go now. Awesome. Nine. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. You got that? Sir, thank you so no much problem, for your time. Pleasure. Hello sir, uh, so you are the trainer. Sir, can you tell us about the details of the course details? Yes, definitely. So, the first thing what we have is called fun shooting or recreation shooting. For that, what we do, we give you a little bit of introduction to shooting sport, how it is, the background completely about that. And then we give you 20 rounds of shooting. And for that, we charge 350 per session. So, that session can be done any time. You have to just walk in and you can take up that activity. That's the one time activity. The second one what we have is called hobby shooting. For hobby shooting what we do, we give you the entire box of 500 one ticket pellets. That you can get it along with you whenever you are free. Shoot how much ever you want, remaining you can carry it. So that entire 500 quantity will be with you itself. So just walk in, cut with the pellets, shoot how much ever you want, remaining you can carry it. For that, it's called hobby shooting for that which has 4500 rupees okay until unless you finish the box you can utilize the reach so there is no other restrictions on that so we are open from monday to mondays is a week off tuesday to sunday 10 to 9 anytime you can just walk in and utilize the range okay apart from that if you are looking for in depth about shooting sport for that what you can do you can take up a basic course what we have that basic course is of 24 classes. That 24 classes includes both training on your rifles as well as pistol. So in-depth training will be provided in that 24 classes. For that 24 classes, we charge 12,000 rupees. Okay. And then after the 24 classes, you will have a complete understanding about a shooting sport. Because in competition, you will not be able to shoot both rifle as well as pistol. So that's the reason we train you on but rifle and as well as pistol so that you can get to know which one you are good at and you can take it up professionally so after that you can take up an annual membership and we'll train your in-depth training will be provided on whichever you choose the weapon, type of weapon you choose thank you so much sir you for are. the detailed explanation so hi uh so in the morning we are doing a lot of practice so we are going to do a lot of practice so we are going to do a lot of practice so we are going to get information hi sir hi so how many years you have been practicing this? it's been close to one and a half year ok excellent so what is your experience? can you share your experience? it's a very good sport it helps you to concentrate it improves your concentration skills Concentrations, what do you say? It helps you to focus in your day to day activities as well. Like, like share, and subscribe to Explore with Deepak.